In this video, we are going to discuss the Search for Actors window, which can be found under the toolbar by clicking on the Search for Actors button, or alternatively under the Edit menu under the Search command. So let's take a quick look at what this window allows you to do. In a nutshell, it's here to help you find actors, and it's a, it's a really nice search mechanism. You start off by entering what it is you're looking for. So it says search for what? Let's say we want to find all of our static meshes. Well, we can type static, and notice even as we type it that the list starts to uh, narrow itself down. And there we go. We have all of our static meshes listed. We can scroll through them all. We can select individual ones, and I'll talk about some of the things we can do with objects found in this list here in just a moment. Let's move down, though. We can uh, determine where we are searching. Are we searching inside the name of the actor, inside whatever level it might be, inside what group or path name or tag? And you'll also notice that these coincide with the columns that can be found here inside your result list. So right now, it looks like just about everything in the level. In fact, if I clear out my search for, uh, everything in the level is in a, the group of none. So uh, if I search for none within group, I get everything. But if I search for maybe um, materials within group, of course, nothing really shows up because nothing is actually in that group. However, if I go by tag, let's take a look at our tags. What kind of things do we see in tags? We see interp actors. We see uh, UT slime volume. Uh, let's go ahead and try that out. Let's go over to tag and let's search for UT slime. And there we go. It immediately narrows down to slime volume zero. Now, down from here, we can choose whether or not uh, our search criteria is going to be used from a starting point or as something containing, which is really cool, because if we switch over to containing, we could just search the tag for... Oh, actually, that, that's my fingers not on the home row. Very good. So, slime. There we go. And we immediately get our UT slime volume once again, because we're searching tag uh, for the word slime being contained somewhere within. So let's go ahead and switch this back to name. I'll go ahead and leave it on containing because I, I prefer that. It's just easier for me to remember. All right, a cool way to show that off would be to use um, brush versus uh, static mesh. If you change it to starting with and, um, and look for a brush, of course all of the brushes come up. There you because go. Because the, the name starts with brush. Now, now type in static and see what uh, results static, we get. Static, we get everything. But if we try mesh, we're actually going to get nothing. Because none of them begin with the word mesh. Right, but instead, if I go to containing and I say mesh, I get all of my static meshes. So very, very nice. Yeah, a very nice way to uh, check that out, now, a way to get access to all of my static mesh actors. Now, what can you do with this list once you have it? Well, you can select specific items, and you can select more than one. We can hold down Control, or I can select one, hold down Shift, and click on something underneath and uh, grab an entire uh, array of items. Or we could uh, grab every single item if we wanted to. Just by, I just held the shift key and clicked on the bottom entry and the top entry. I'm just going to pick on one, though, and I don't know which one this is. We have uh, Static Mesh Actor 104. If I double-click on this entry, you'll notice in the background that my camera jumped. This takes us right to the mesh, and it selects us for it. Uh, it selects it for us. Thank you. Uh, so now we are looking at Static Mesh Actor 104. Now, we can do the same thing by clicking on the Go To button. So if I select another static mesh and click Go To and then move the window out of our way, we uh, still have, I'm sorry, we have a new static mesh selected and the camera is focused upon it. So let's scroll way down the list. We'll grab 157, click Go To, and the camera jumps, and now we're looking at a new static mesh. Other things you can do are you can delete a static mesh. So if I move the window out of the way just a little bit, we can take a look here in the background as I click Delete. Boom, we just deleted that static mesh. We can open up the properties of, uh, of anything in this list just by clicking on the properties button. So there are the properties for this particular static mesh actor. And then, of course, if we're done, we can click close. And with that, those are all of the key features of the search for actors window. That's everything you really need to know. Very handy for helping you find specific types of actors in your level for editing, for uh, removal purposes, or any other reason you might happen to need them. And that is going to wrap things up for this video.